we go, the gates just opened. We are in Pomona at the Fairplex opening night of the LA County Fair. This year's theme is Spring into Fair. Last year they celebrated 100 years and it was the first year back after the shutdown. And last year was the first time they had the fair in the spring and it seemed to have gone really well. The weather was a lot nicer, so they're doing it again this year. So it runs Thursday through Sundays through May 29th, plus Memorial Day Monday. And of course, tonight is opening night. So let's head into the Flower and Garden Pavilion here first before it gets too busy. Hands That Cultivate is the theme in the Flower and Garden Pavilion this year, and it is absolutely beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Bellagio. <laughs> it's hot, then it's cold, hot, then it's cold, so the jacket's on and off, on and off. It rained all morning, but it's uh, kind of nice right now. There's a little bit of a breeze. Perfect night to enjoy the fair. We're going to head up to the hill which is one of my favorite spots. Don't miss this if you come out to the fair. Up here on the hill, there's all kinds of activities for kids, like making your own buttons. There's a little amphitheater with a show. And it's all about living with nature, the forest. There's some uh, Tonga village that you can see here. So definitely come up here. It's a very unique location in the fairgrounds. That I think a lot of people miss right near the yellow gate behind the flower and garden pavilion. So make sure you check it out. And there's supposed to be a walking tree of life too. I'm looking around to see if I can see them. Nice. We're here with the living tree. Ah, uh, yes. The tree of life at your service, my friend. Well, thank you. Exciting opening night of the fair. The rain stopped, so... <laughs> yes, just enough to make things pleasant. Yes, and to make your limbs grow. <laughs> trees, that is. Well, thank you so much. And thank you, thank my you. friend. First ride of the day is the sky ride across the park and it only goes one way so you have to get off and walk back or scan your tickets again. All the tickets are digital so you can either buy them at the booths here or buy them online or buy them from the RCS Fun app. So all you do is scan it, nothing to lose, nothing to forget, it's just on your phone and enjoy the rides. Like I said there's over 70 rides total between the little kiddie rides and the big rides. I think there's one new one this year so we'll walk around and look at all those scary big ones later and also ride the uh, Haunted Mansion, the Haunted House ride. Let's get ready to cheer on our cute and adorable racing pigs. Ring the bell, here we come. entertainment like the bands and the pig races are all included in your admission. The only exception is those grandstand shows. Of course, the fair is more than just about foods and rides and entertainment. It's about agriculture. So make sure you check out the barn for all the animals. And then back here at the farm, they actually grow all these vegetables that they use for dinners and special events back here at the farm. So make sure you check this out.
no trip to the fair is complete without a cow milking demonstration. <laughs> There's also goat milking too. So make sure you schedule that into your day here. As promised, here's the goat milking stage. <laughs> Doesn't look like they're doing it tonight, or we missed it. I have a very irrational fear of goats. Did you ever see the movie The Witch? <laughs> Avoid them. All the animals and agriculture are provided by Cow Poly Pomona. <laughs> Inside of Expo Hall 9 is the Haunt Hall, and this was so cool last year. And there's a couple haunted attractions to walk through too. Let's go check them out. Can you tell me where to get some pea soup? The Museum of Monsters is free, but there is a zombie haunted attraction for $5. So you can check out all these monsters and take your photos. Got Hellraiser back there. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> I've seen all six of your movies. I'm going into the zombie quarantine. $5 ticket. Let's see if I get scared. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Go! <laughs> 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 Inside of Hall 7 is Sean Kenny's art installation made out of Legos. We've actually seen some of his installations at the South Coast Botanic Garden. Each one's got a little sign, how many Lego bricks are inside, how long it took. Make sure you check this out in Expo Hall 7 and see my video from the South Coast Botanic Garden. My favorite things last year at the fair was the culture of the low and slow, all of the lowrider car shows. Make sure you check that out too. So many things to see and do at the fair.
ran into my buddy Mike. He had the fried avocado from Chicken Charlie's and highly recommended it. So we're going to have to give that a try tomorrow. They also have a Kool-Aid chicken sandwich you got to try. Inside the Millard Sheets Art Center is a new exhibit this year. California Photography from LACMA and the fire alarm just went off. So they had everybody come out. So we'll, we'll come back and check this out in a little bit. Although not widely advertised, each Midway food vendor has a 770 value menu item, which comes out 850 with tax. I'd say a majority of them have it. Majority of the food vendors last year, they widely publicized it. This year, they haven't. So you have to go up to each booth and see what they have for $7.70. Last year, we went to Piggly's and got a really good pork sandwich. So we're gonna go try that and see if they have it this year. So at Piggly's, you got the 770 combo meal, which is 850 with tax. It is a pulled pork, I don't wanna say slider because it's bigger than a slider. It's like half a sandwich roll. Looks really good. Last year, it came with veggies and onions and jalapenos on top and a side of their curly fries, which were delicious. This year, it does not, but it did come with this little value soda that you fill yourself. So if you're looking to save a little bit of money, go up to each of those booths and see what their 770 value combo is. Again, it's not the hugest amount of food, but it lets you sample a lot of things and also not spend a lot of money. So if you're on a budget, it's a good way to budget. And if you want to eat everything you possibly can at the fair, it is a good way to try a lot of things for $7.70 and, you know, get a, a value sized portion. Let's try this pork. Okay. The flavor is good, but it's cold. Barbecue is tasty, the pork is real tender, but it is not hot. So if it was a little bit hotter, definitely be a winner. There is a silent disco, <laughs> so if you do not hear any music, that is why I'm not making it up. Hi, above the fair here. I'm going to let you know that all the entertainment is included with your admission. The entertainment, the shows, the uh, live music, all the exhibits, with the exception of the grandstand show. Those you need to buy tickets in advance to see the show, and that includes your admission to the fair. Or if you have your admission and there's still tickets left, you can buy it at the box office over by the Lagoon stage. And then you can get into that for reserved seating. But that's the only thing. And then I believe the NHRA Motorsports Museum you have to pay to get into. I think it's $5. And of course, any games, rides, or food. But all that entertainment throughout the venue, all included in your ticket pricing.
the Endeavor is the ride behind me and I went on that last year. It's actually not as bad as it looks. <laughs> you have to watch that video from 2022. That is it from opening night at the LA County Fair here in Pomona. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. Turn on and we'll have videos from the fair the whole season. We'll have best places to eat, cheapest eats, things to see, craziest rides, so make sure you're subscribed. And follow with that notification bell on. Thanks for watching. Heading home now, we'll be back in the morning. There is so much to do here at the fair. If you don't like rides, you can see the exhibits. If you don't like exhibits, you can look at, uh, watch the music. If you don't like music, there's shopping. There's so much to do, something for everybody, so check it out.